So I have to get to bed early tonight to rise and shine bright and early because it's going to be an insanely busy weekend off. And when I mean insane, I mean insane. Um, tonight started the festivities. Uh, Grandpa just wanted to trim a little bit off the trees, he said. Well, Donna goes and gets the big saw from last year. And I kept noticing how, you know, the limbs were affecting everything. And I thought, you know, big storm comes. And I know there's that old Tanya Tucker song, Strong Enough to Bend, that it would probably bend. But I just got to the point, I'm like, yeah, but when you're mowing, it's going to hit you on the head. It's going to knock him off the mower, on the riding mower. Just take care of the problem. So that I did. I cut several limbs down tonight and heave ho, they must go. I tugged, pulled, put, and I tell you, my weightlifting is really showing because <laughs> I pulled those dang limbs down when they would get to one certain point, and I shoved them out to the curb so that the city could pick them up because they're on the boulevard. They're their property. I just pruned them for them. Thank you very much. And uh, they're willing to be picked up at any time. Yeah. And if you're having a, a weenie roast out somewhere and you need some wood, Hey, if you wanted big pieces of wood right now, out on our boulevard, there's the places to go, let me tell you. With that being said, what is on tomorrow's list? Did I get my baking done tonight? No, because after all this tugging, pulling, pushing, rearranging um, wonderful um, <laughs> limbs, if you will, I realized, okay, look, you got to get up early tomorrow because we got to beat the heat wave. We got to mow. We got to prune, trim, whatever else Grandpa wants done. I got to tie up the tomatoes. I hope we have twine somewhere in this house. Next, I got to um, then bake the cupcakes, ice the cupcakes, be ready to go between 2 and 2.30 p.m. so I can deliver the cupcakes to Miss Deb sometime during the day. Let Miss Wanda know, hey, I do have your books ready. I have your treat ready. All I'm waiting on is the cupcakes to get done and then hopefully get in touch with her. If not, then I can hopefully get in touch with her on Sunday. Monday, I got to work. Tuesday's my next day off, but I really don't want to make cupcakes and then you know have to be like, okay, you're not going to get your cupcakes till Tuesday because who wants to have cupcakes you know, two or three days later after they're fresh out of the oven. So, Miss Wanda, if you're watching this, I'm going to send you a text message after I bake the cupcakes tomorrow to let you know, hey, you got cupcakes, you got books. Hopefully we can meet up somewhere. I've got to get some goodies tomorrow. By that I mean uh, we've got to go down to Dollar General because I'm baking on Sunday for the family. I'm doing homemade crock pot beef and noodles. Uh, we're going to have uh, probably mashed potatoes homemade. I'm going to buy the sack of taters and have Mackenzie, my niece, peel them. She's so good at it. And um, mash them. She does an excellent job on that. Get some Hawaiian rolls at B&D. Hopefully we get to go there. We haven't been there in over two months. After that, uh, got to get out to Aldi's to pick up salad and bake, uh, bacon bits, either there or at Dollar Tree, one of the two. I forgot to get them the other day when I was there. I feel so stupid. You know, you can think about these things, though, too much. And then when it comes time, you're like, going, oh, why didn't I think of that? Uh, of course, i got to pick up salads at County Market. Got to get the noodles. Got to get the beef. And um, I don't know. I, some people say that you can use the, like, little chunk, like, chunk. Let me do it this way. Chunk bits of beef in the beef noodles. I've never done that. Um... I've always bought like the actual roast and then, you know, kind of brown it, then put it in the crock pot overnight and then, you know, just try to tear it a, a really good while you brown it before you put it in the crock pot. That way uh, nobody is just, like going, oh, this wasn't brown beforehand. It's kind of red because in our family, we all like it well done. So that's going to be fun in itself. I always sign myself up for the funnest family functions, just saying. Anyway, uh, got that on my plate, but as I already informed everybody, Tuesday, my next day off, besides taking Grandpa to the doctor, we're going to have a day of rest. It's just an annual doctor checkup, so no big deal. He just needs to make sure that everything is on the A-OK -okay and he's doing well. So hopefully, knock on wood, that's what's going on. Um, 
he is going to mow tomorrow. He's mowing on the rider. I will be doing the push mower, and like I said, probably a lot of more uh, trimming and uh, definitely tying those tomatoes up. Those tomatoes definitely need tied up. So that's where we're standing with all, everything that needs to be done for this weekend. Rush, rush, rush. I've got to find my recipe for the slow cooker beef and noodles. I misplaced it. So if I didn't find it, I'm going to be looking through my Pinterest again for like an easy, uh, you know, beef and noodle recipe. But I already know the noodles I'm going to use. I just can't decide on what side is a beef, whether I'm going to use these little chunks or whether I'm going to use these uh, chuck roasts. Because somebody had told me you could use the little chunks. You just, you, you know, it, that, that way you don't have to tear it all up. I'm going to ask the meat department guy when I go get my meat. And if he tells me that I can do that, oh yeah, gonna buy the chunks because I hate tearing it up. I just do. So anyway, that's where we're at with all this. Love you. Stay safe. We're gonna do a little bit of uh, don't give me butterflies tonight. So I got to put on the readers. And I've, I'm falling behind on these book reviews. I'm so sorry, y'all. Um, what did I watch on TV tonight? Well, um, that happily ever after 90 days, even though I've seen bits and pieces of it on Sunday, I seen the rerun of it tonight, then the, the pillow talk about where they talk about the 90 days. Some of those couples, I don't think they're going to last, you know, even further past the 90 days. Um, it's sad. And what's my take on everybody starting to be like, wear a mask? Why didn't they do it all along? We should, we wouldn't be where we're at with the numbers if they would have done it all along. And I honestly believe that. It's sad. Okay, without further ado, I'm gonna zip it and we're gonna read a book. So next time you see me, I'll have my cheaters on. My special occasion cheaters because my regular glasses are in the front room. When I was cutting those trees and the sawdust was coming down, here's the thing that I really hate. Okay, I had already had my shower, okay? So I'm outside and I'm cutting this tree. Here's the sawdust coming down in my hair, okay? I take out the trash tonight and the June bugs, I think they're June bugs, they were about that big, okay? They were out there flying around and I'm like going, oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. So I had to duck them to take the trash out. And <laughs> um, it was so funny when I was out there, here was these young kids in their cars, our neighbors around the area, watching me hard at work, okay? While they stay either in their house or they're across there in their cars with the music turned up loud. And I'm thinking to myself, you guys are supposed to be strong, burly men. You would think they would want to come out and help a woman who's needing clearly assistance, but nobody offered. So that was kind of sad in itself. But I'm going to zip it again. I, I keep saying that, right? But this time I am. We're going to get the book. We're going to read a little bit. I'm going to probably watch Unleashing Mr. Darcy before bed if I get enough time. We'll just have to see. So stay, stay tuned.